So today's video is gonna be another perfume video. I know. But this has been such a highly requested video. You guys have been asking me to do an updated perfume collection for months now. It feels like for years now. When was my last perfume collection? I mean, I do a lot of perfume videos, but by the way, I have my Invisalign on. I've been too many hours without it, so I had to put it on for this video. So I apologize if I sound a little lispy. Oh my gosh. My last perfume collection was four years ago. I was living in Mississippi. So it's been a while. <laughs> I can't believe it's been that long since I show you all of my perfumes like all together. That's insane. I thought it would be the perfect time to do this video because I just, I just last week, recently, I should have filmed it, but I didn't. I recently decluttered so many perfumes. I had like about 60 of them. I know, it's really bad, it's really bad. Some people collect coins. This is what I collect, but I know it's bad because they go bad. But I had like 60 perfumes and I got rid of so many. Let me count them. I'm like 20. I got rid of like 20. And there's one in here I want to get rid of and I'll explain. And actually one of them has one spray left. So this one doesn't count. Oh my god, where's my black opium? Hold on, I'm missing one. Okay, I don't know where my normal bottle of black opium is. This little guy will do. How do you lose perfume? Okay, you already know I talk a lot. I'm Cuban. This video is going to be really long. I'm going to try my best to get through all of these perfumes as fast as I can. But if this video is 30 minutes long or more, I'm so <laughs> By the way, I got this shirt at Forever 21 like a while ago. And I love bell sleeves. I love anything that makes me feel like a bird. But every time I wear something like this, I think about my fifth grade talent show. I had just performed with a huge group of my friends. We did the Britney Spears version of I love rock and roll. So put another day. Yeah, I'm not a singer. But we did that song and it was amazing. And then as soon as we were done, three girls went on stage. Mind you, this is fifth grade. <laughs> These three girls are in elementary school. And when they walked on stage, their outfits, they were wearing um, bandanas, you know, like the classic bandanas, the black one, the red one. Well, they come in all colors. But they weren't in the traditional bandana print. I have a clear vision in my head and I'm pretty sure it was like a zebra print, but they were wearing it like if it was a shirt. So it looked like a triangle. Ah. And then they had attached bell sleeves up to their elbows. So it was their little triangle top with their bell sleeves. <laughs> and they did a dance to the song Bad. I'm gonna play the song for you. I'm gonna do a little dance like they did. Oh, the song is I Wanna Be Bad. You know the song. <laughs> you guys know the song. Just kidding, I don't exactly remember the whole dance, but I remember being traumatized. You can tell I was such a little dorky Aquarius because I remember sitting in the audience like, hey, they told us we couldn't show shoulders. They're showing shoulders. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that story, but I just want you to know that every time I put on bell sleeves, I think of my fifth grade talent show. Okay, let's finally get into this video. I decided to do it standing up, and I honestly don't know why, because I cannot sit still. This camera is gonna be trying to focus the whole time. Okay, so I don't know how to go through these videos. At first I was like, do them by categories, like fruity ones, sweet ones, fresh ones, sexy ones. But I had a feeling I would start that way and then get confused. <laughs> so um, I think I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna randomly pick one up and talk about it and if we form categories along the way, that's what we'll do. You know what? I think it would be cool to kind of go by brands. Um, I, I don't know, let me just shut up and talk. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my new favorite perfume. About a year ago, I did a video on my top five favorite perfumes. And if I had to do that video all over again, this one would join the mix. I would have to bump some guy out. I don't know who I would bump out, that's tough. But this perfume has taken a huge spot in my heart. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is the perfect combination of that sexy sweet. When I was younger, I hated florals, I hated fresh scents. I was all about the sweets. But as I've gotten older, I like more mature sweet scents and I feel like this is definitely it. Right now, honestly, I'm at a point where I, all I wanna wear is this perfume. I, I can't, wow, it's so delicious. It has a base note of patchouli and for some reason, whenever, a uh, fragrance has patchouli in it it just lasts so long on the skin a lot of the times not always and I just really enjoy that scent you could also really smell the caramel on this one you smell the vanilla the sexy coffee beans oh my gosh you can totally smell the coffee it's absolutely stunning this is the love child of YSO's black opium and Lancome La Vie ah! <laughs> It landed on the rug, it landed on the rug. If Lancome La Vie Belle, never hold it by the cap, okay? Never. If that perfume and black opium had a baby, it would be this. If you like those two perfumes, you will absolutely love this. It is delicious. Look where I'm buying. I'm obsessed. 
Light Blue is another one from Dolce & Gabbana that I really, really love. They just do fragrances right, and sometimes you'll get a super long wearing one, and sometimes you won't. The original Light Blue doesn't last that long on my skin, but this one, the intense version, is super long wearing. I don't use this perfume that often because it is one that I only wear in the summertime. It's a very specific scent versus this one that I feel like I can wear year-round. Some people might say it's just a winter scent, but I'll wear it whenever I want. But this one is the perfect fresh beach scent without getting coconutty or like suntanny. I like those type of scents, don't get me wrong, I don't know why I was making that face. But if you're not into those kind of summery scents, you like more fruity, citrusy kind of scents, you will love this. It's very lemony, very breezy, and just perfect for the summer. And then the last Dolce & Gabbana perfume I have is this one. I always, I can't pronounce this, it's L'Imperatrice. L'Imperatrice. This is actually one of my favorite bottles as well. And this perfume is actually what I want to wear on Easter this year. It is spring in a bottle. Like I said, some of these perfumes I just wear year-round, but some are very specific. This is springtime for sure. It smells like pure watermelon to me. Like watermelon and other fruits. It's a very fruity, citrusy scent. It's just so fresh. And it just reminds me of a pretty girl. Like a, the girl next door. She's very sweet, very kind. She's a Libra, perhaps. Let's talk about black opium now that we're here. This is a perfume that I have a love-hate relationship with. So immediately when I smell this, it's amazing. This is one of my favorite perfumes for sure. It's so sexy. You can smell the coffee. It's just sweet, but not too sweet. It doesn't give you a headache. It's a statement perfume for sure, but it just does not last on my skin, guys. I don't know what it is because I get so many comments from you guys saying like, I have that and it lasts forever on me. Am I broken? It doesn't last on my skin at all. Like, and I've asked people around me after a few hours of wearing it, I'm like, can you smell me? Can you smell me? Like if I walk by, can you smell me? And they're usually like, I can't. Which kind of sucks because you want people to smell you when you wear perfume. So the scent is exquisite. If it lasts on you, then I highly recommend it because it's literally like such a beautiful, sexy, sweet scent. Victor and Rolf makes two of my absolute favorite perfumes. One of them is Bomb Bomb, the other one is Flower Bomb, which I'm sure you guys are very familiar with. This one is Flower Bomb's sweet sister. I mean, they don't they don't smell alike at all. So I guess it would be like her sweet cousin, but it has that same beautiful staying power that Flower Bomb does. I swear when I spray this on me, I still smell it at the end of the night. And I absolutely love this packaging. I love that it looks like a bonbon. The only thing is you have to be careful with this guy. Some perfumes you can get away with spraying a little bit more. It's not too overpowering, but this is like a two hit a quitter. Like like two little spritz and you are done. This is a very, very strong perfume. And if you're really sensitive to scents, this might give you a headache. It's very sweet and like tasty and delicious. Like you want to eat the person that's wearing it, but it can be a little strong. The caramel in this is very, very strong. I can sense the musky like ambery tones. It's really delicious. Just be careful. How many times have I spoken about this? This is actually a brand new bottle that I got a couple weeks ago because I just ran out of my other flower bomb. This is definitely a cult classic and it's also one of those perfumes that if someone's wearing, I know right away. And I know a lot of the times that will annoy someone. They don't really wanna buy a perfume that everyone is wearing, but this is such a beautiful scent that it just makes sense. It makes sense why everybody wants it. It's a floral, but it's a spicy, almost like powdery floral. It's not like a rose flower garden. It's a perfect balance. I also smell the patchouli in this, which is probably the reason why it lasts so long. It's just amazing. You know what I did not like though? Flower Bomb Midnight. I knew it! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just went to go look up the notes for Flower Bomb Midnight. Patchouli is not in the notes and guess what? This doesn't last as long as Flower Bomb does on me. I thought it was going to be a super intense version of Flower Bomb, but I mean it's good but not something I would run to put on. Like nowhere near as good as the original. This one, however, I was extremely, extremely pleased with. This is Flower Bomb Nectar. This one has been my favorite besides the original. I still think the original is better. It's just unbeatable. But this one is so good. It's like Flower Bomb, but much sweeter and like more edible. Oh my God. And it always is weird to me that one of the, one of the top notes in this perfume is gunpowder. Gunpowder, like, what? Who thinks of that? Like. Uh, you know what this perfume is missing? Gunpowder. That's just so weird. Jo Malone fragrances are really, really popular, and I have tried several, and these two are my absolute favorites. I continue to repurchase both of these. This is Peony and Blush Suede, and I recently ran out of the bigger bottle, so I have this little smaller one. I like to throw this one in my purse. They're just very, very pricey, and I find that they aren't extremely long-wearing 
for the price. Like Victor and Roth perfumes, they hurt when you buy them because that's expensive, but they last forever on the skin, so it just feels so worth it. Some of the Joe Malone colognes just don't last that long, but I find that these two really do. I'm not super big on florals, but this is a floral I can get down with. I don't know if it's the suede in this cologne that just brings it to another level. It's floral, but it's also a sexy floral. And I feel like the longer you wear this, the more it warms up with your skin and like your natural body chemistry. It just smells so delicious and it becomes a very like warm floral. Perfect for the spring. It's soft, but also really intense at the same time. I would say this one is my top, top, top from Jo Malone. This is the Blackberry and Bay. Perfumes. Perfumes do things to me, I swear. This is the perfect combination of those earthy, woodsy types of scents mixed with a fruity type of scent. Because I definitely smell them both. It's not too earthy where I'm like, uh. This brings it to a very sophisticated level. Like, you smell earthy, but very sexy and put together. It's like a boss. A boss would wear this. Especially if you're a Virgo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. This is a bossy-ass Virgo perfume. Oh, my gosh. Let's talk about... Let's talk about this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. This was my biggest impulse buy when it comes to a perfume ever because number one is pricey. Le Labo. Oh, I haven't told you what this is. This is the Le Labo perfume in the scent Rose 31. Kathleen, why would you buy that? Don't you hate the scent of Rose? Yeah. Yeah. This was such a YouTube made me buy it purchase. I heard Jamie Page Beauty go on and on about this in a video. I said to myself, don't buy it. You know you don't like Rose. She clearly likes Rose. Don't buy it. But I was like, she loves it. I have to buy it. And I tried to convince myself for a really long time that I liked it. I was even mixing it with other perfumes for a while. And I really liked how it went with other scents. I loved mixing it. But I've come to the conclusion that I just don't like this. I have way too many perfumes that I love and adore for me to ever think, let me go spray some rose on my body. Like, no. It never happens. Okay, let's talk about Mark. I'm sure you guys know about Daisy. It's definitely his most popular fragrance for sure. And every time I smell the original Daisy, it takes me right back to high school. It reminds me so much of my friend America. And I think of her immediately when I smell it. And it always smelled so great on her, but it never smelled like that on me. I personally don't like the original Daisy. It smells great in the bottle, but once it makes contact with my skin, something happens and it just doesn't work for me. But I have fallen in love with so many of the other Daisies. It's like the exact opposite of Flower Bomb. The Daisy Oh So Fresh is so good, but this one definitely has to be my favorite version of Daisy. This is Daisy Love. No, I'm lying. It's my second favorite. I love Daisy Twinkle a little bit more. But anyway, I just love this packaging. It's so freaking adorable. But what matters is what's on the inside. And it smells absolutely beautiful. The notes are very unique, but Basically, it's a very sweet scent. It is a very simple scent, but it does have a little bit of a fresh vibe. And for some reason, when I apply this to my skin, the sweetness really comes out. Like, I don't love it as much in the bottle as I do on the body. It just really works well with the skin. And it's just so sweet, and I really, really like it. But Daisy Twinkle is my favorite. First of all, this is the prettiest perfume bottle that I have. Like, look at this. This is my childhood in a grown-up bottle. This is the Violeta Cologne that you get at Sedanos or at Navarro. This is Mi Tesoro Violeta Cologne. Only all grown up. Now she's a businesswoman. She's still sweet and very relaxing. I really love perfumes that have violet in the notes because it just makes it so sweet and fresh and just absolutely beautiful. I love the scent of violet and I love this perfume. It's definitely my favorite violet perfume out there. And I believe this is the perfume I wore last year on Easter. It's so good. Let's talk about Gucci perfumes because I can go on and on about Gucci scents. Gucci makes some of the best perfumes in my opinion. So many of them last so long except Gucci Flora. This one is one of those that lasts forever. This is Gucci Guilty. And to me, this is the perfume you wear when you're on the hunt for a new boo. This to me is a man getter or a woman getter. Personally, I feel like anybody who smells this immediately is like wrapped up in a love spell. I think it's because that's kind of what happened to me the first time I smelled it on someone. One of my cousins was wearing it. We were at the beach and it was nighttime and I kept smelling her and I was like, what? You smell so good, like sexy good, like wow. Like have you ever been hotter? I don't know. She was like, oh yeah girl, I'm wearing Gucci Guilty. It's my favorite and it just smelled, she smelled heavenly, beautiful, I swear. My cousin's already a 10, but it took her to a 12 really fast with this perfume. I know this is the platinum one, but it smells exactly the same as their original. And it has so many of those base notes I love. It has patchouli has that amber, a little bit of vanilla. It's just so, so good. You guys need to check this out if you haven't already, especially if you're an Aries or a Scorpio. 
I don't even want to smell it. <laughs> this is Gucci by Gucci. Not to be confused with Gucci Premier that looks exactly the same, only it's in a gold bottle. This is the original Gucci by Gucci that no longer freaking exists, which is why I've been hanging on to this same bottle forever. Oh my God. Why did I smell it? I know a lot of you guys know the story behind this, but really quickly, this was actually the first gift Danny had ever gotten me, which very fancy show off but he had asked me when we first started dating what my favorite perfume of all time was and i told him gucci too which i will discuss in a second and then he showed up with this and of course i wasn't gonna be like this isn't it I ended up really falling in love with the scent like the second i sprayed it on my body i was like this smells so good it's so crazy i know i always talk about this but it's so crazy how scents are tied to memories oh my god it is wild it is wild for i will keep this bottle to the end of time i smell that patchouli i smell the honey and it lasts forever on the skin no one no one will ever take the place of this guy First of all, I hate the packaging on this damn perfume. I can never travel with it. I can never take it anywhere. This cap weighs as much as a newborn baby. It's a weapon for sure. This is the perfume that made me realize how much I love black currant in my scents. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. There's something about it that's so intoxicating. Out of all my 40 perfumes here, it's the one that lasts the most. I will wear this perfume like at 9 a.m. in the morning and I will smell it at 9 a.m. the very next day. This is another one of those perfumes that I feel like is very, very fruity, but it has the perfect mix of that woodsy scent, which makes it very sexy and beautiful. Oh, and the beautiful thing is that they discontinued this. So yeah, this is my last bottle right here. I was able to get it on Sephora still not too long ago, but it's officially gone. So this is it. Something I have been loving since my sophomore year in high school has been ripped from me. I don't have any other Gucci perfumes, but Gucci Bamboo is another beautiful one that I recommend. It's really good. Versace Bright Crystal is one of those perfumes that I always go back to. And I'll go months and months and months without wearing it. And every time I wear it again, I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? It smells so incredible. But for some reason, it's one of those scents that get lost in my perfumes. I don't know why, because it is so stunning it's another one of those florals i really really enjoy because it has the perfect mix of like fresh citrusy scents in there like it's a floral but i definitely smell the fresh clean green vibes that this gives me and every single time i wear this without fail i get compliments on this fragrance so i'm always like damn why don't i wear it more often it's another one of those very long wearing perfumes I just really love Versace perfumes. I have come to realize I have three of them. This one was one that took me a second to really love. I'm not gonna lie, I bought it just for the packaging. I know that's really stupid, but the more that I wore it, the more I really, really liked it. This is one of those perfumes that I personally only like in the spring. Oh, by the way, this is called Dylan Blue. It does have that perfect mix of fruity and floral, and it's so crazy. Let me grab it. This is a candle I hold near and dear to my heart. It's my favorite candle to ever exist. I've never lit it, but this is the Glade candle and I don't even know what the scent is. I think it was like angel something. I'm lying, I have no idea, I have no idea what it was. I don't know why I thought of angels. But this is a candle that used to sit right behind me in my old videos when I first started my channel. And now every time I smell it, it makes me emotional it makes me emotional it reminds me so much of when i started my youtube channel and living in mississippi and the feelings of like getting new subscribers and doing youtube for the very first time this is so special to me I, and it used to be like a much brighter pink it's faded throughout the years but this is it in perfume form obviously it smells different it smells a little bit more perfumey more like sexy and exotic -y, but if i had to bottle up that scent in a perfume it would be this and it's insane because every time i spray this on my body it gives me like nostalgic vibes it's such a soft beautiful scent and such a beautiful bottle versace eros is another one of those perfumes that i dye over the packaging <laughs> and i prefer the largest bottle i think it's the prettiest but this is such a good perfume Oh, these are all really good. How many times have I said that in the video? It's perfect for spring and summer because it honestly smells like a fruity explosion. Like I can't smell anything else in this perfume besides fruits. It is a fruit cocktail. If you love fruity scents, you are going to absolutely love Eros. Let's talk about this guy right here because this is definitely a splurge for me. Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Paris. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540. One of the most exquisite, most beautiful freaking perfumes you will ever smell in your entire life. But on me, it just doesn't last on my skin. And oh my gosh, it just smells so good. It smells like a romantic movie. <laughs> 
like a really good dramatic romantic movie I smell passion when I smell it and it's really strange it's so beautiful it's like a fancy woman for sure but I just wish it lasted longer on the skin which is insane because everyone I talk to tells me it lasts forever on their skin so I don't know okay I'm gonna try to pick up the pace because I'm like not even halfway through this video and I've been standing here for over an hour I have tried so many uh, nest perfumes but indigo is the one that I continue to go back to I really like black tulip there's also another one I really really love midnight flare I believe but <laughs> indigo it just it's so so good and it's definitely the most unique in my opinion i don't have anything in my collection that smells quite like this it's a very very green perfume it's very fresh it just reminds me of springtime but like nighttime springtime this is like the perfect scent to wear on your night out during the spring i love the packaging on these nest perfumes and this one in indigo lasts a super super long time on my skin let's talk about one of my other top five favorite perfumes of all time definitely top five you need this in your life if you haven't tried out the original jimmy choo you need it it's just jimmy choo by jimmy choo this is one of my favorite perfumes to wear when i'm going out at night whenever i'm going anywhere fancy or whenever i'm going anywhere where there's a lot of people if i want to go somewhere where i want to smell good a lot of the times i will wear this because i get so many compliments when i wear this perfume probably like my most out of all of them my most complimented besides pink sugar go figure like what? But yes, no matter where I go, someone asks me what I'm wearing. It's insane and it lasts about as long as my Gucci 2 does. I definitely smell that toffee in here. It smells like a first date. I feel like Gucci Guilty is when you're on the prowl, you know? You're out there looking. And this one is when you already got them and you're going on your first date. Because this will make anybody fall in love with you, I swear. Nothing to me will ever compare to the original. Nothing. I have tried Jimmy Choo Blossom, which is amazing, but they discontinued it. I have tried so many of them. That's the best one. And I also really love this one, but it also doesn't last as long as that one. This one is Jimmy Choo Fever, and I think it was limited edition. It smells really, really great, but it doesn't really last that long on my skin. So even if it was still around, I probably wouldn't repurchase. But I like the size, and I like to throw it in my purse. The perfumes I've recently spoken about, I don't want to go on and on about it, but the Victoria's Secret Bombshell perfume is hands down my favorite Victoria's Secret perfume. It's the one that lasts the longest on me. Well, this one and another one I'm going to show you. I have a top two from Victoria's Secret. A lot of them just don't last that long on me. And like, I love Very Sexy. That scent is so good, but it just doesn't last on my skin. I find that Bombshell lasts a lot longer. I love wearing this in the summer. I don't know what it is about this scent but it's just so pretty it's another one of those scents that if someone's wearing it around me i know exactly what it is it just takes me back it's very old school but it smells so incredible like no matter how old this fragrance gets it'll be one of my favorites my other favorite victoria's secret scent is none other than heavenly it used to be called heavenly angels and then they changed it to just heavenly i think this is actually a pretty new bottle because i hadn't had this scent in such a long time i don't know if it's because this was the type of scent people were wearing back in the day like at their wedding but it just reminds me of a wedding like when i smell it i want to go to a wedding it just smells like a bride and it might be cliche to wear this on your wedding day but it's such a beautiful romantic fresh clean super clean scent it's a fresh clean sweet type of floral i really really i know that fresh and sweet might not go together but i swear this does it all <laughs> i have tried so many Giorgio armani sea perfumes like all the versions of sea i even have sea passion like in my bathroom right now i didn't bring it out here because i'm actually giving that away to my mom i just don't really use it that often i have to get a new one of this this is going bad in my opinion no other version compares if you've been wanting to try the sea perfume get the original it smells so incredible. It's crazy because the first time I ever smelled this, I wasn't too crazy about it, but I sprayed it on myself in Sephora and then I was just walking around the store and Danny was like, I don't know what you're wearing, but you smell incredible. Like he loves this perfume on me. This one and Pink Sugar are his two favorite perfumes that I own, which is weird because they're totally different, but he just loves how this smells. And every time I wear this, I do get so many compliments. Top five for sure. I've said that about like six of them already. Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel is my favorite Chanel fragrance. I personally don't like any of the Chanel fragrances. I think they're a little bit too strong. They kind of give me a headache. The only one I love besides this is Chance. Chance smells so good, but it's literally the perfume my sister has been wearing since high school. So I can't wear that perfume. And she doesn't do this. Like she has one perfume, one, for like over 10 years, one. I can't, I can't wear that. I can never wear that perfume. <laughs> but Coco Mademoiselle is 
sophisticated, it's sexy, it's powerful, but also really soft. And it just reminds me of a fancy woman, like a woman who knows what she's talking about and also knows what she wants, but also has a soft side and can be very warm and cuddly and just inviting and sweet. So I would say if you're a Pisces, this is for you. <laughs> okay, so this is literally the perfect fragrance for the summertime. If you are into that suntan, Bobbi Brown Beach kind of scent, this is very similar to Bobbi Brown Beach, but it's a lot better in my opinion. I don't like Bobbi Brown Beach, but I love this. This is from the brand Erin, and it's their Hibiscus Palm Perfume. It is the perfect beach scent. I can smell the coconut in this, but it's not an artificial coconut where it's like, oh, you're trying to smell like the beach. No, no, no. This is a sophisticated version of that. This is very grown up and very like mature. I would say it's very exotic, very luxurious. It smells very expensive and, the and it's very expensive. <laughs> like it smells how it costs and this one does last forever. Oh my gosh, let's talk about my one of my favorite scents. This is Valentino Donna. I only have a couple sprays left in this. I absolutely love the bottle. It's such a beautiful scent. I remember one time I was wearing this and I was walking through the hotel lobby and somebody who worked there ran across the lobby. I actually thought it was a subscriber <laughs> trying to come to meet me and she was just like, hi, I'm sorry. I know you don't know me, but what perfume are you wearing? I was like, oh my god, you smelled me from like all the way over there. It was insane. It's one of those perfumes that just captivates a room. It's that perfect combination of sweet and sexy these are my favorite types of perfumes I noticed that a lot of my perfumes have the same notes but they all smell different <laughs> I pretty much got rid of all of my celebrity perfumes I just personally don't think they last that long on my skin the only ones I kept were Rihanna Rebel Fleur which is one of the best celebrity perfumes like seriously to ever exist it's such a unique scent every time somebody's wearing this I know exactly what it is it smells so sweet but also very musky it's like again another sexy sweet scent but I would say it's a little bit more powerful than sweet it's a little stronger the sexy sweet scent that you can definitely wear in the summertime especially at night it's like the perfect nighttime summer scent if you want to be nice and sexy now the perfect daytime summer scent is this one which is the other celebrity perfume i kept this has been one of my favorite perfumes since the day it came out i've been loving it for years and years this is miami glow from jlo um it's another one of those like discontinued perfumes i have to keep buying them on amazon and i've gone through bottles upon bottles of this i can't even tell you how many i've gone through it's just such an affordable perfume that lasts forever it lasts longer on my skin than the rihanna perfume does it has that coconut it has that tropical vibe oh, but still being sexy and beautiful not too beachy just literally perfect mac makes some of my favorite perfumes mac turquatic i don't have it right here but it is such a beautiful fragrance also perfect for the summertime but candy yum yum is hands down my favorite one they've ever come out with it was actually in my recent uh products i've used up video and i'm already going through this guy it's just so fruity and delicious i love wearing it to bed because the longer it's on my skin the sweeter and the more delicious it smells so it's just like the perfect fruity out of the shower scent for me it is very candy like but in a fruity way I wore this perfume when I went to the Bahamas. This is the Sud Pacific Vanilla Banana, and this is a very specific scent. Like, if you don't like banana, if you don't like vanilla, you will not like this. Every time I put this on, Jenny was like, oh my god, do you smell that? It smells like banana bread. <laughs> it smells so sweet, but exactly like banana. With a little bit of coconut in there, I feel. Like, I don't think it's in the notes, but I get that beachy coconut vibe from this scent as well. I don't know if it's because it reminds me of the Bahamas, but it's the perfect summertime scent if you're into vanilla and you're into banana. It's really good and it lasts a long time too. Escada makes so many different perfumes and they're really great, they're really affordable, but Moon Sparkle is definitely my favorite one. Out of all the Escada perfumes I've ever tried, Moon Sparkle is the one that lasts the longest on my skin. I don't know why, but it just lasts forever. And as you can already tell, from this video that is the main thing i look for in a fragrance but it's very sweet kind of has a little vanilla vibe and it's just really really good pink sugar is another one of those really affordable fragrances mine has turned yellow this always happens with pink sugar the color changes on this guy really fast but it really is exactly what it's called it is sugar it is sugar in a bottle but for some reason it doesn't give me a headache for some reason it's not like as sweet as like product candy it doesn't turn me off like some super sweet sugary sickly scents do it gets really warm on the skin and i almost feel like the longer it's on the more delicious it gets and it stays on your skin forever it's another one of those like super 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 long wearing perfumes and 
for the price, you cannot beat it. Lancome La Vie Belle is such a beautiful, sweet fragrance. I've spoken about this one a thousand times on my channel. I love it because it is another one of those super long wearing perfumes. It's very, very sexy and sweet. Again, one of my favorite combinations. I feel like a broken record at this point. I know I'm going on and on and this video is getting way too long. And another one I recently spoke about is the Glossier You Perfume. I feel like I have been raving about this so much recently, which is funny considering I didn't really like it the first time I smelled it. But honestly, this is what I've been recommending these days whenever someone asks me for the perfect everyday fresh scent but that also lasts a super long time on the skin this is your guy we only have three more perfumes to talk about this is another recent purchase of mine this is Oscar de la Renta and this is Bella Rosa I'm a sucker for packaging and this one just really really gives it to me and even though it's called Bella Rosa it's not too rose scented i feel like it gives you enough of other things to where it's not an overpowering rose scent it's not super super floral it has the perfect mix of like sexy muskiness has a little bit of patchouli in there it's funny because every time i wear this my mom is like oh you smell like you i'm like what does that even mean <laughs> i was wearing this non-stop when i first bought it and then i got the only one and i feel like i've been wearing this non-stop but it's still a very beautiful scent and i personally think that if you don't like rose like me you would still like this perfume a lot. So definitely check it out even if you're not a rose gal. Okay, and then we have Chloe Namade. I believe that's how you say this one. And I was really shocked to love this perfume because I am not a big fan of the Chloe scent at all. I know it's a very popular perfume, but it just, it's a little too florally for me. But this one, this one is incredible. It kind of reminds me of my mom. I know that seems really weird. The same way that reminds her of me, this fragrance reminds me of my mom. Her signature scent is actually Calvin Klein's Eternity. Every time I smell Eternity, it's just like my mom instantly. It's crazy. But this reminds me of a scent my mom would really love, which ended up being the case because I bought it for her for Christmas because it, I just had that vibe and she ended up really loving it. But it kind of reminds me of a mom and not like an old mom, like a young mom. I just, I feel like this is a perfect mom scent. It would be a really nice Mother's Day gift. I feel that way. It has a little bit of citrus in there. like. I can smell the green and like the clean citrusiness in there, but it's also very woodsy and a little earthy. I really, really love this one. And then last but not least, we have this guy. We are finally at the end. I've shown you guys all of my perfumes. Oh no, Stella McCartney Pop. Okay, these are the last two. I'm not crazy about Stella McCartney Pop actually. Like if I had to repurchase this again, I will, <laughs> but only because it reminds me of Barbies. I know I told you guys this in the past, but this literally, this is Barbie. Barbies were my life growing up. I used to have so many Barbies. I played with them all the time and every time I would buy them or my parents would buy them new clothes and I would unwrap them, this is what they would smell like. This smells like Barbie's plastic little shoes. And even like her skin, this smells like a Barbie. I don't know what in the notes reminds me of a Barbie, but this is Barbie dream house for sure. It's not my favorite scent. It's very fruity and very delicious. I like it, but I have other perfumes I like more. I honestly just hang on to it because it's nostalgic for me. Speaking of nostalgia, this is actually the perfume I wore in middle school. One of the perfumes I wore in middle school, which is really weird because it's a much more grown up scent for sure. Like I don't even, I can't picture a middle schooler wearing this, but. I sure did. And this is Charuti 1881, and it's actually a floral scent, a floral powdery scent. I am walking the hallways of my middle school right now. Oh my God, my hair is so curly. <laughs> so weird, I don't know what it is about this that just makes it so intoxicating and so delicious. Another one of those perfumes that every single time I wear it, I get so many compliments. It lasts forever on the skin. I really don't hear anybody talking about this. This is one of those perfumes that I don't know how I discovered. I feel like my grandmother gave it to me and then it became a huge favorite of mine. One of my favorite floral scents for sure. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're done. Guys, I started filming this video at 12.30 and it is 3 p.m. What have I been doing this whole time? I don't know. This is gonna take me so long to edit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to walk you guys through my entire perfume collection. These are all the scents I have. They're just scattered throughout my entire house. I have like half of these in my beauty room, half of these in my bedroom. But leave me a comment down below letting me know what your all-time favorite perfume is. Even if I have it here, let me know what it is. I would love to know what your classic scent is, like your signature scent. Leave it in the comments down below. I'm bummed that I don't have one. Um, I guess when you have this much of an addiction, you don't really have a signature scent, but I'm okay with that. 
But yeah, guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I want to be bad. Maybe it looks so good. Got things on my mind. Hmm, I wonder if you guys can see the tape on camera. This little screw came out. And I haven't had the time to put it back in here. So like, I just put tape instead. This camera is going to be... I love the packaging on these next, next, 